Hello friends, welcome back to my channel RNF Preet. I hope you all are doing well. I am back again with another informative video. This video is going to be regarding evidence of practice. Evidence of practice is one of the requirements that you have to fulfill to obtain your nursing license here in Canada. By the end of this video, you are going to have an idea that what is actually evidence of practice and what are the different ways to meet evidence of practice and what type of experience you need to meet it and how many hours of experience you need in order to meet evidence of practice. Friends, this video is going to be useful for all the international nurses who are looking forward to immigrate to Canada and would like to become a nurse here in Canada. Friends, if you are visiting my channel first time, please do consider to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon in order to get all the notifications for future informative videos as well. So friends, without any delay, let's start with the video. So evidence of practice is any evidence that shows that you have experience working as a nurse within past three years. So in this case, your experience letter on an official letterhead will act as an evidence of practice here in Ontario, Canada with CNO. Evidence must be relevant to the class or category you are applying to get your license. For example, if you applied as a registered nurse category here in Ontario, then you must provide your evidence of practice from RN category within the past three years. Moving on, let's talk about what type of nursing practice would count toward your evidence of practice. As per CNO, that is College of Nurses of Ontario, nursing practice is diverse and is not defined by the role, title, activity or procedure or practice setting that you are performing. Practicing nursing is not same as employed as a nurse. Even if you are going to volunteer as a nurse, then it is going to be counted as a practicing nursing as well. On the other side, if you are going to provide care to your family or your friend, then CNO is not going to recognize it as nursing practice. Proceeding further, let's talk about what type of nursing roles are considered as nursing practice. Nursing is not only defined as bedside or direct patient care. As per CNO, you can be practicing nursing by not providing direct patient care. Nursing practice include both clinical and non-clinical roles. For example, working in education, administration or research roles can be considered as practicing nursing. Going forward, let's talk about important key points regarding nursing practice. The first important key point is that in order to start work as a nurse here in Ontario, you need to be registered with College of Nurses of Ontario. Means if your registration with CNO is expired, then you cannot even work as a volunteer nurse here in Ontario. In order to obtain nursing practice, if you want to work outside of Canada, then you need to be registered with that country or province where you would like to obtain your nursing practice. Then second important key point is that you must be registered with that province or country. For example, if your evidence of practice is expired and your application is in process with CNO and you would like to renew it by going to your home country. For that, in order to consider your nursing practice valid, you need to make sure that you are registered within your nursing regulatory body in your home country in order to consider that evidence of practice or your nursing practice as a valid document. Moving forward, let's talk about what should be included in the evidence of practice. If your evidence of practice is expired and CNO requested you to provide them recent evidence of practice, then your experience letter must include the first thing is your position in nursing. That whether you are working as staff nurse, resistant nurse, midwifery, educational nurse or researcher. Second thing is that it should also include your practice setting, whether you are gaining experience from a hospital, from outpatient department or from long-term care home. The third thing it should include is that what type of population you are providing majority of care. Either it's newborn or maternity patients or old age population or school age children. So ask your employer to mention that what type of population you are providing care in majority last but not the least the fourth important thing that it should include your job description including your detailed roles and responsibilities proceeding further let's talk about different ways to fulfill your evidence of nursing practice 
The first is through your nursing education. If you have completed your nursing education within the last three years, then you can meet the evidence of nursing practice requirement. Second is through your nursing practice. Within the past three years, if you work as a nurse or you volunteer as a nurse, then you can easily meet this requirement. Third is returning to your nursing jurisdiction to practice as a nurse, going back to your home country in order to gain the nursing experience. For example, if you are from India or from Philippines and you are going there in order to renew your evidence of practice, then after completing the requested hours, you will be forwarding those documents, your experience letter to CNO in order to consider that experience as your evidence of practice. Fourth is by completing additional nursing education. If you received a letter from CNO indicating that you need to complete additional nursing education then by completing this requirement and completion of successful study program given by CNO, you can easily meet this requirement. The fifth way is the way that came into existence by CNO on March 10th, 2021. So if you are going to complete MCQ or OSCE with Touchstone Institute of Evaluation, you are going to meet this requirement. But in order to fulfill that requirement, your score is very important. You need to score 68 8% of MCQ and 3.5% of OSCE in order to be considered as successful candidate to meet this requirement. Last but not the least, the sixth important way is through supervised practice experience partnership program. If your all other requirements are met and only evidence of practice is pending, then you can be a candidate in order to get benefit from this new program and you can meet your evidence of practice requirement through this program. Friends, I have already made a detailed video on this new program that is supervised practice experience partnership program you can go check that out i will be posting the link in the description for that video moving on let's just talk about how many hours of experience you need in order to meet evidence of practice first scenario is if you have not practiced in past 3 to 10 years then in that scenario you need to fulfill 400 clinical or practical hours and on top of that CNO might ask you to go for additional nursing education as well. Next scenario is if you have not practiced nursing within the past 10 to 15 years then CNO is going to ask you to fulfill 600 clinical or practical hours and on top of that CNO might ask you to complete additional nursing education so friends that was all regarding today's video regarding evidence of practice i hope you like it please do consider like this video leave me a comment with your queries and please do consider hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon your subscriptions likes and comments keeps me motivated thank you and have a wonderful day